Welcome back everyone to a brand new Fortnite video and today we're going to be going over every single cosmetic that you can get from Save the World that are also in Battle Royale. So let's go ahead and start. Alrighty guys, so of course in uh, Save the World there's a bunch of stuff you can get in Battle Royale. I'm going to go ahead and go over everything. The music, the skins, the back bling, the pickaxes, the gliders, everything, the emotes, the banners, the loading screens, everything like that. Before we start, feel free to use my support carry code, that'll be on screen now. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. First up with the skins, these are the most obvious ones, I'm sure everybody knows about these. Uh, probably no surprise, but uh, later in the video it's going to get a lot more, uh, a lot more like, secret, like a lot more things that you probably don't know about. So the first two, I'm sure you guys know about these. Um, it is the Rose Team Leader, and of course the Diecast, which are these two guys here. These two guys were introduced in Season 3, both Legendary skins, pretty bad, and not very rare, and not very cool. You get these by buying the game initially, and they come with the... This is the backlink for the Diecast, it's called Pursuit, and this is the backlink for the Skirmish, it is called... For the Rose Team Leader, it's called Skirmish. So yeah, those two skins and backlink you get immediately once you get the game. Next up, we have the pickaxes. These I'll get into in a second because they're a little more interesting. Uh, but the next two things you get right when you buy the game are the Founder's Glider, which is this one. It has a Dirt Burger on it. It has the same exact OG glider-like uh, look except for the top here and on the sides it has the Dirt Burger. So it's a reskin of the original default glider. And then you get a, an extra umbrella. I know a lot of guys, a lot of people like umbrellas. So it's an extra umbrella. If you guys like umbrellas that much, here's an extra one. And you get this by buying the game as well immediately. Uh, pretty ugly in my opinion, but it's cool to have because why not? Uh, next up, let's go over the one emote. So this one is Ride the Pony. Now, if you already had Ride the Pony from the Season 2 Battle Pass, you would have gotten uh, Pony Up. And the reason they did this is because they gave everybody in Save the World the Ride the Pony emote. So uh, if you had Save the World before Season X, there used to be only two emotes, Ride the Pony and Dance Moves. And Ride the Pony was given to uh, Battle Royale and Save the World so you can use it in your locker. And they pretty much gave this to everyone who owned Save the World so you could keep using it because... Say, this emote was in Save the World since the start, and they didn't want to remove it from players. And all the OGs got the Pony Up emote. So yeah, of course it comes with the two different musics. It's traversal, and yeah, pretty cool. Once again, um, thought I'd just go over that. Next up, we have the let's let's do the gliders, banners, and loading screens last. Uh, next up, we have the music. Um, so first up, we have I'm pretty sure there's three music packs. Yeah, there's three. So the first one is dungeons right here. So this one you get by completing some missions in the dungeons. I'll let you guys have a quick listen. But you can look these music packs up on YouTube if you really want to hear the full one. But this one's of the dungeons. The next one is of uh, Frost Knight. This is for completing a Frost Knight. You have to survive in Frost Knight for 30 minutes. And save the world, which is actually super easy. So if any of you guys have saved the world and you really like this music pack, you can go ahead and get this one now. It's pretty easy. And uh, the dungeons music pack is also fairly easy to get. But keep in mind, the dungeons is limited time, so it might not still be up when you're watching this video. The third one, which is the hardest to get, which is quite rare, not a lot of people have, is the stand and fight music pack. This one is obtained by completing all of Stonewood, all of Langerton and all of Canny Valley, the entire storyline of all three of those zones. That'll take you quite some time. It took me quite some time. It took me about like a year to complete all three of those storylines. So this is definitely the rarest music pack out of all of Save the World. And this one will take you a long time to get. It's very hard to get. But if you play the game fairly often, you'll definitely get it. If you don't, good luck getting it because it's going to take you a while. Now I'm going to go back to a music without noise, without uh, talk without singing so you guys can still hear me by the way feel free to join my discord server the links in the description while i get the chance to tell you all right next let's go ahead and go over loading screens and then we'll go over banners and pickaxes which are definitely the most interesting so if we look up save the world here we have i'm pretty sure 
four. There may be more. I'm not sure if I have them all unlocked, but to my knowledge, these are the only four that we already have. Um, so let's go ahead and go over all of them really quickly. So these are all unlocked by completing different Save the World missions, and I'll show you guys how to get all of them. First up, let's start with the dungeons. This one you get by doing some missions in the dungeons. I'm not sure exactly. I'm pretty sure it's the Crypt Dungeons. If you have no idea what that means, then don't worry about it. You just have to do some missions in the dungeons mode in Save the World. Next up, we have Frost Knight. For this one, you have to survive for 45 minutes in a single mission of Frost Knight, which is also fairly easy if you have the right heroes for it. If you're new to the game, it's not going to be as easy as getting 30 minutes, but if you really try, you'll definitely be able to get it. It's not the hardest thing in the world, and in my opinion, this loading screen is one of my favorites. Next up, we have the Hit the Road loading screen. This one you can't get anymore. It's from the Season 10 event in Save the World, which is Hit the Road, and you got this by... I'm not sure how you got this, actually, uh, but you did some random quest inside of Hit the Road. I don't remember what it was because it was so long ago, but uh, I don't think it was too hard, but you can't get this anymore because this was from the limited time mode in Save the World from Season 10. So this is unobtainable anymore, but it's still pretty cool to have. Of course, this is the van and the whole area in Save the World. Finally... The last loading screen, to my knowledge, which is probably the coolest one, I take back that this one's the coolest. I like this one the most. This one's the Storm King. And this one is, I take it back, this one's the hardest one to get. Uh, you can get this now. You're not going to get it if you're a new player, uh, most likely, because unless you get carried by somebody. But to do this one, you have to defeat the Mythic Storm King. I made a whole video on defeating the Mythic Storm King. Uh, you can look that up on my YouTube channel. Look up Mythic Storm King on my YouTube channel. It's very difficult. You have to play the game for a long time. You have to get to power level 122 unless you get carried by a friend. But if you get carried by a friend, you still have to defeat three mini bosses at the highest level of the game. So you have to be doing the highest level missions. And then once you've done that, uh, there's pretty much... I'm trying to explain this to you guys who don't play save though. It's pretty hard. <laughs> um, uh, but... Pretty much there's this big Storm King guy at the end. I'm sure you guys may have fought him in Battle Royale. It's, it's like Battle Royale, but a lot harder. And you only have four people max to do it with. And you pretty much have to shoot his horns five times, break his horns. And it's just a bunch of stuff. You can check out my video on the channel. I'm not going to go into detail. But keep in mind, it is a very hard fight. And the only way to obtain this loading screen is by killing the Mythic Storm King. It's pretty difficult to do. Once again... I explain that more in detail on one of my videos. We'll go into the banners last because that is probably the coolest part. But we have the pickaxes. These are definitely super cool. Um, I made a video on each and every one of these pickaxes. All 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 of these you see here. I made an individual video on each and every pickaxe on my channel. So feel free to search that up on my channel if you are interested in the gameplay of every pickaxe. But I'll show you guys every pickaxe here quickly. Starting off with the first one. This one is called Old Woody. You'll get this once you start the game. Uh, you don't have to do anything to get this. I'm pretty sure you get this by buying it. No, no, this one you get... Wait, hold up. Why isn't it showing? Okay, uh, let me go over those ones after. Because those you get by doing quests. There's one that you get immediately once you've purchased the game. I gotta find it for some reason. It's not under the Save the World set. I'll go ahead and find it really quickly here. Oh, yeah, it's under this. There's two... No, there's one. Okay. There's the other seven you get by doing quests. So this one... No, there's two. Sorry. So these two you get by buying the game. You don't have to do any quests. So it's called Rose Glow. This is the Rose Team Leader's Pickaxe. And then we have the Mean Streak. This is the Diecast Pickaxe. So, of course, you get the Diecast Skin Pickaxe and Back Bling and the Rose Team Leader Skin Pickaxe and Back Bling. Once you've bought the game, you don't have to do any quests. You just have to have the game. So this is the diecast. I'll shut up so you can listen. This is the Rose Team Leaders. Alright, now the seven that you have to do quests for. Um, we'll start off with the easiest one. Once again, you can look up these on my channel. Just look up Old Woody or look up like Basic Bash or look up any pickaxe you want. I have gameplay of all of these. So Old Woody, this is the first one you get. Uh, I'll, go, I'll go in order from easiest to hardest to get. So you pretty much get these by playing the game. It'll This one's the hardest to get. It'll take you the longest. But yeah, Old Woody, this is the easiest to get. Next up, we have the Basic Basher. 
second second easiest to get. Next up is the tech axe. They all have the default pickaxe sound, so you don't have to listen about worry about listening. Next is the hydraulic wrecker. This is the fourth easiest pickaxe. Next is the Vinder Tech Elite. This is the fifth easiest pickaxe. Next is the laser pick. This one's starting to get pretty rare. Not a lot of people have this one. This one makes a unique sound, so listen. And then finally, the Axe Hammer Pickaxe. I made an entire video on this discussing why it could be rarer than the Raider's Revenge. But this pickaxe is extremely rare. Um, and it could possibly be the rarest, if not the second rarest pickaxe next to the Raider's Revenge. For this one, you have to reach level 275 and save the world commander level, which will take you about a year of gameplay playing this game constantly. So unless you're a hardcore save the world player, chances are you're not going to have this pickaxe. can't buy it with V-Bucks. You can't buy any of these with V-Bucks. You have to actually play the game, which is pretty cool. And yeah, this one's very, very cool. I made a whole video on this if you guys want to hear the statistics on why it could be the rarest pickaxe. But uh, yeah, it's either the rarest or second rarest pickaxe in all of Battle Royale and save the world and creative. I'll let you have a listen. It's pretty cool. Once again, this has custom effects, and if you want to hear the sounds better, just look up Axe Hammer on my YouTube channel. Finally, probably the most interesting, maybe the pickaxes are a bit more interesting, but definitely the pickaxes and banners are the most interesting. So, first I'm going to start off with the Founders. So the Founders, uh, the, um, they go up in order, so you get some of these. <clears throat> excuse me, from the Standard Edition, then there's the Deluxe Edition, there's the Super Deluxe Edition, uh, the, I'm pretty sure there's like another edition, and then there's the Ultimate Edition. Uh, the Ultimate Edition are these banners at the end, which I'll go over in a second. These banners at the end, you can't get anymore. You had to pay $100 for the Ultimate Edition, and you can't buy the Ultimate Edition anymore. So those banners are pretty rare. The other ones you can get now, but they do cost a lot of money. First, you get these banners from, uh, just playing, just buying the game. These you get from, I'm pretty sure, the first upgrade. These banners are from the second upgrade. These banners are from the third upgrade. Keep in mind, these upgrades cost anywhere from like $30 to $50. Uh, I'm pretty sure these are for the fourth upgrade. No. Alright, those are all of them. And now finally, I'm pretty sure all these are from the Ultimate Edition. The Ultimate Edition you can't get anymore. I'm not sure when they're going to bring it back, but it was $100. And it was a limited time thing. I don't think you can buy it anymore. So you got the bomb. Uh, the science, the bunny, the cheese, the gnome, the poop, the teddy bear, which is a gadget and save the world, and then the banana, and then the knife. So those are all of the ones from buying the game. And then if we go into special, these are from completing quests. Now, in the special banner, there is an extremely rare banner. It is the alpha banner. I could go ahead and show you guys this here, but if you guys go to my YouTube channel, look up. Uh, look up it's Marco Nation Alpha Banner. I'll leave this in the pinned comment. But uh, I made a whole video on this. This is a banner that I don't have. You had to be playing back in 2014 to get. That is what the banner looks like. Uh, these are all the stages of it. So once again, this video will be linked in the pinned comment. Please check it out. It's going to go way in depth, more in depth. But pretty much, you have the. You had to be playing in the alpha tests which started back in 2014 and they ended in 2017 um and if you wanted to get this max one you had to do all nine alpha tests you had to do all nine alpha tests from 2014 to 2017 and you get this banner these go a little less rare but even if you want this banner which is the least rare of all nine of these you'd have had to be playing in 2017 like july 2017 for this one you had to be playing in 2014 and do nine consecutive alpha tests this banner is the rarest thing in the entire game rarer than anything that of course i don't have because nothing barely anyone has this this will be linked in the description i'll copy and paste it for when i upload the video but yeah, there's a bunch of other banners that I don't have as well, but I have a quite a decent amount of them. Uh, and all of these you get from limited time events or quests. I'll go over I'll go over some of them. This one you get get by destroying 300 gnomes. This one you get by searching 100 chests. This one you get by running flawless in hit the road. This was super hard to get uh and it's not an event anymore this one you get by doing all four of the dungeons pretty easy. This is for one I'm pretty sure the grotto dungeon. 
Now this is the Grotto Dungeon Banner, this is another, this is the Labyrinth Dungeon Banner, this is the Crypts Dungeon Banner, and then this is the Inferno Dungeon Banner. So, these are all from the dungeons for the different stages of it, and then this is for the dungeons in general. Next up, all of these are for the War Games, this is for War Games, this is from War Games, so it's this, 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 and this. Those are all from War Games. And then finally... This one is from Frost Knight. There were eight different Frost Knight banners. I only got one of them. But, um, yeah, this is why I use this banner, because it's my rarest banner. And it's super cool. There were eight Frost Knight banners from each week, and then there was one more banner. There's a bunch of Save the World banners. There's also Save the World YouTuber banners. If we go over here, um, okay. There were some Save the World YouTuber banners. Those... Uh, I'm pretty sure I talked about it in this video as well. You can look at this video, um, if you guys want to look, look into that. But in 2017 July, when the game was just announced, Save the World, not even Battle Royale, uh, there were these YouTuber banners. Those are also super rare and special. But these special banners are the Alpha Banner, the War Game Banners, the Event Banners, the, f like, Frost Knight Dungeons, uh, Hit the Road, etc., and then there were the YouTuber banners from 2017, which were also super rare, and those you can't get anymore either. But yeah, I think I went over everything. I don't think I missed anything. If you guys are a Save the World player, let me know if I missed anything, but I'm pretty sure I covered everything. Of course, I don't have all the banners, so I can't show you guys all of them, but I did tell you all of them. And once again, that uh, alpha banner will be linked in the description. Thanks for watching the video. I'm pretty sure it was a super long video. My throat hurts from all that talking. But I hope you guys enjoyed it nevertheless. Please use the support carry code. It's MarkinationYT in the Fortnite item shop. And please join my Discord server. The link will be in the description. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys all later. Thanks for watching.